Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I have a little uh, prep table cooler, 31 Celsius. So let's go do our checks here. The vapor fan is running. Coil has no ice on it. Let's go check our condensing unit. Uh, condenser fans running, compressors running, and our sight glass is really low. So we have a leak here. And you can see we're running in a vacuum. And then our high side is 28 PSI. So let's go ahead and do a leak test here. So my leak detector is going kind of crazy. It took me a while to get this thing set up. It's still kind of going crazy. So I'm going to go to this pinpoint mode and keep zeroing the meter. And let's see if we can kind of pinpoint this. It's a big leak because the meter's uh, yeah, it's just doing stuff it usually doesn't. So we'll keep zeroing out until we can pinpoint this leak, take our time, be thorough, all that good stuff. So it's picking up a leak basically in this condensate pan. So let's just keep zeroing out the meter and it's uh, not the most common leak point but it does happen. These things do rot. This unit's probably only like two years old so I'll be shocked if it's in there but you can see meter still going crazy. Let's zero it out one more time. And let's see if we get any hits. And it looks like we finally zeroed out the meter. So now that it's zeroed out, we have a better chance of picking up this leak. And we're not getting any hits here anymore, which is interesting. So what most likely is happening is the evaporator is leaking and I'm going to try to zoom in here and get the drain tube let me see if I can get a good picture of this but basically um, if there's a leak in the evaporator coil and the oil's leaked out or whatever we're going to drain right into this condensate pan and let me see if we can zoom with my shaky hands there we go there's our drain tube okay so because I'm I've zeroed out we're not picking up any leaks anymore uh, we're most likely have a leak in the evaporator pan and look at that there's a definite tell telltale sign that the leak is going to be on this right hand side um, this is going to make our life easy so we definitely have a big leak here on the right hand side so let's go try to pinpoint this I've zeroed out the meter because it was going insane again and let's see if we can pinpoint it we're most likely going to have a leak on this expansion valve and yeah we're getting some hits right here on the suction side of the TXV so uh, meters done its job perfect let's get some soap on her pinpoint and you can see right there is your bubble right there okay so we have a bad flare so let's go ahead and take it apart in nylogger and I took it apart and the flaring ring broke off <laughs> So, looks like it was flared incorrectly from the factory. Like I said, I think this unit's two years old, so it was slowly leaking out. The issue now is I cannot get my flaring tool in there. The one I have will not fit in there for sure. So, we're going to have to think outside the box. So, they have these fittings here that go from flare to sweat. So, we're basically going to go sweat it on the 3-8 side. Let's prep our pipe here, because obviously we have some oil on it and a bunch of soap. Let's get all that cleaned up and then I'm going to use a really small, um, I'm going to use the double tip here and it's just making a really small flame. You can see I have the sheet metal set up there in the back. I do not want to burn this evaporator coil. I don't want to fix one leak and make another one. As you know, these coils don't take much to leak anymore. It's not like back in the day. They just don't make them like they used to. So I'm using this kind of double tip. Um, uh, double tip uh, torch tip that I usually don't use but it's the only way I can keep the, the flame small enough and as you can see there I have enough silfos on there now I'm just gonna wrap it right around the pipe I'm gonna get the backside and let's get our mirror in there and I am happy with that good penetration good shoulder we're all good all right, now we're gonna put our TXV in. So they use that gray stop leak stuff. I do not like using that stuff. I clean it off as best as I can. Nylog is my go-to 100%. So let's slap some of that on there. 
hit up all the threads and let's get a nice seal onto our flare nuts all right so we have her on we're pressure testing at 112 112.8 psi let's see if she dropped let's go test our areas of concern so far so good no beeps okay so it looks like we have fixed the leak but let's just take our time in this area because the meter was going insane earlier but looks like we're all good and one last check here just to be thorough and we're good I'm happy with that so we vacuumed it recharged it down to two Celsius sight glass is full and we finally cycled off condensing units off we're good to go here